All right, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with Final Fantasy Brave Exvist. So, today's Wednesday. What does that mean? We have some news. Uh, let's jump into it right now. So, if you guys are liking some Cactuars, there's your chance to get some this weekend. Cactuar Dune is going to be open from Saturday to Sunday, all day. So, you guys are going to be able to farm some of these Cactuars. Actually, from the 20th to the 23rd, sorry. Uh, then, what we got here, March on Garuda, we got a new raid event, guys. Fantastic. So, you guys are going to be able to get some raid coins. And maybe sell them to get more gill. Because right now you guys can see I'm lacking some gill. And uh, let's say that some ability awakening was really costly on the gill department. Uh, we're going to be fighting this boss right here. Uh, I'll just call her. She has a lot of wings, man. Holy moly, that's a lot of wings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oof, that's a lot of wings. Uh, basically, Final Fantasy 14 event. You guys can see Ishtola right here. Now the good thing is, okay... Uh, as we're going uh, down here You guys are gonna be able to craft uh, Some of the TM from the Final Fantasy 14 character So you guys have right here true charts of genius uh, boost SPR when equipped with a staff and defense when equipped with a rope uh, I think that's Ishtola's uh, TM then you guys are gonna be able to do true sages Prajna boost HP by 15% and magic by 25% True Adeline Guard, that's the one from Minfilia. So, boost fire, ice, lightning, water, wind, earth, light, and dark resistance by 15%. So, that's a really good TM if you're trying to, uh, let's say for Mystia, you're fighting a boss and he does a lot of elements. Like, uh, what's the name? Uh, Seymour Flux. So, if you guys put that on your AoE magic cover tank, well, right now you're able to mitigate a lot more damage. Then, we got True Spirit of Freedom, chance of dodging physical attacks and boost attack by 20%, which is not stackable. Right here, you guys can see it. Then we got True Followers Oath, boost HP and attack by 15%. So that's a little buff because Transert or whatever his name is, originally his uh, TM is only 10%. So right here, you guys can see 15 and 15% 15 is actually really, really good. Then accessories. <laughs> We get these little cool figurines, uh, Ishtola, Papalimo, Ida, Minfilia, that's the new one if I'm not mistaken, Alfinode and Trans, Tan, Tancred, Tancred, or whatever his name is, doesn't matter. Uh, so you guys are going to be able to get the raid orbs uh, and just fight the boss over and over again. So, that's the one right here, the raid summon. As you guys will get the uh, the currency, if we can say so, the raid coins, you guys are going to be able to summon for these characters right here. So, uh, as I say so again, Ishtola, if you guys are still lacking a good healer, you don't have, uh, you're still, you know, with the Luka or the uh, Refia, unfortunately. Ishtola is a really, really good healer. She was my number one healer for the longest time before Ayaka came out. Uh... She's she has dual cast in her kit, so she's able to raise. She's able to do good Kiraja, um, good Karaga, I, sh I should say. She's able to cast Shelga, Protecta, uh, stuff like that. She's a really really good healer if you guys are still lacking one. So and she's free, so why not go for her? Minfilia? Good character. Uh, if you guys don't have a um, character that that is able to buff your. Um, Defense against um, what's it called elemental attacks. She's really good. She offers all of these skills right here the rest I mean, they're pretty pretty normal. So don't go crazy for them But if you get them just get their TM because it's free and we love free things in this game or in life in general uh, So that's 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 that uh, that's it for the raid summon uh, as we're moving on to the next one right here you guys can see we get a 5 star type summon, so we're getting 2 uh, types basically of summons, we're getting the attack type, Mercenary Ramza, Mercenary Ramza, Gilgamesh, if you guys still don't have that Genji glove, Nyx, Baltier, and Onion Knight. Uh, that's for this first batch, so all attack characters, uh, not for anything. <laughs> They could have put better attack characters. I mean, uh, mercenary mercenary Ramza is not really a s super strong attack type character versus other in the game. But you know what, Onion Knight is Onion Knight is really good 
Baltier, strong finisher, Nyx also if you have that fixed dice. Uh, the rest, you know what, Genji Glove still one of uh, the best TMs out there. Um, Ramza's TM, good enough. Nyx, not so bad. Baltier, strong gun. Onion Knight, well you guys know what he's able to do. He's able to chain like crazy. Um, yeah, that's not a bad... Uh, that's not a bad pool uh, of units, but I would still keep my Lapis because you guys know what, they're still in the major pool of all units. Next one, we get the support type, so basically on the Monday to the Friday. Uh, Delita, <sighs> they're trying to bring your boy back. They're trying to, pull, to bring your boy back. Uh, seriously, this banner right here, I would totally skip it, guys. Uh, there's nothing crazy. I mean, Noctis was really good when he first came out, even with the announcements. Uh, there's better support characters. Zargabat's a really good support character, actually. Uh, I really enjoy playing with him. If you guys have Ramza uh, or Lunara, just don't go for it. Lunara, in my personal opinion, she's still a better singer than Ramza. She offers more heal and more MP regen at the cost of 10% over everything. But uh, Ace, uh, he's good. Do you need him? I don't think so. And this dude, Delita, I mean, just a big no-no for me. Uh, maybe we can call it uh, like a trap summon. Don't go for it, guys. Uh, unless you want to drop maybe, let's say you have a plenty of Lapis, you do want to drop a 5k Lapis on it, go for it. You might get a chance to get a 5-star. Uh, go for what you need. So there's no bad unit here, depending on what you have and what you need. Uh, personally, I would really love an Onion Knight. I love that sword, the 135 sword, and he's a really good chainer, but that's me personally. Uh, other than that, guys, if you still have a lot of Lapis or tickets, keep them. Uh, personally, like I told you guys, it all depends on what you need and what you're going to desire for the future. Other than that, don't go crazy on that banner. And... Last thing, notices right here, the story continues. So, again with the so. Uh, chapter 3, part 1. You guys will, able, will be able to keep going in the story. And Phoenix is here. Woo! New Esper. Uh, man, we're going to need a lot of Christs for the... Uh, not Christ, but we're going to need a lot of um, the little shards to level them up. Because... Let's say Ifrit and Siren took a lot of them. Uh, ba basically, you get Phoenix here. You guys can see where you can get him. Uh, he's able to go to 2 star. Fire damage to all enemies and revive all K allies. Woo! That's pretty strong. That's pretty, pretty good. Uh, after clearing all of the main story on the new continent, Crystalis will become selectable from the world map. Tap Crystalis Cave in Crystalis for the new story to begin. So, right here. You guys can get Phoenix. Uh, hopefully they fix Leviathan. Because I still need to get my hands on Leviathan. And I know that it was still bugged out for the longest time. So, that's the that's the news for this week, guys. Uh, nothing crazy. Basically, a good raid event is coming back. So, that's always fun. Uh, just to make the game a little bit more fun. And, uh, you know what? Now's the time, you guys can farm the story, or you can farm the story event that's going on right now with uh, CG Jake and Emperor Shira. Other than that, guys, I hope you're having a nice day. Hope you will have the rest of the day really nicely, as I repeat myself. And, uh, <laughs> and that's it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content. Please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!